in the last five years, I've probably run 400 trips, and I've probably seen four of them. That's probably number five. Yeah. Wow. Like I said, that's a that's extremely rare fish. I mean, like, so it, that was not part of the plan at all today. So that's that just was bonus happy inches. Welcome to the U.S. Challenge. Previously, the guys traveled to Arizona and Louisiana. The guys took on the task to catch as many species as possible. While that was definitely a challenge, it's time to up the difficulty. This time, things are different. We have Lake Fork Guy and One Rod versus Ayo and Moore. Lake Fork Guy and One Rod are headed to Michigan home of Great Lakes, Giant Smallies, and m and while Ayo and Norm take on the concrete jungle, New York, known for its fast-paced urban scenery and their amazing cuisine. The name of the game is Size Matters. Here's the rules. One fish per species counts toward total length. You're only allowed one bluegill or sunfish per team. Biggest bass overall gets a 10-inch bonus added to the team's total. And biggest fish overall gets a 10-inch bonus added to the team's total. At midnight of the last day, the guys will tally up the total number of inches and the winner will be declared. Watch as the guys walk into unknown territory and push the limits to be crowned champion of the U.S. Challenge. What's cracking, y'all? We got a beautiful morning up here in Michigan, and me and Mike are going to be on our last day of dangling and hopefully going to take on the dub on this statewide competition here. Now, without further ado, let's go win this competition. What's up, bro? Oh, good to see you. I heard you had a little trouble this morning. My bad. No, you're good. I mean, we just finished rigging up. This perfect timing. Are the tires here? How you doing, bro? Uh, good to meet you, Michael. Man, nice to meet you guys. I like your hat, man. Hell yeah, appreciate it. What are you guys rigging up? Yeah. Uh, we don't know. We, we're just a bunch of, you know, noobs out here on yeah. St. Clair. Yeah, hopefully we can get on a couple this morning. Swim it's baits beautiful, and tubes, mad rigs and everything. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Seems like last time I was with the Googans, I got a flat tire, too. Really? Yeah. Hey, we're getting all the bad luck out of the way right now. Hell yeah. We'll find them out there. It should be a really nice day. It's beautiful out there. Oh, yeah, amazing. gorgeous. Amazing. So, so, what can we help you with? Yeah. Get the cover off and yeah. get her going? All right. So, Dude. you know, usually you come out, you want to catch like a beautiful bass, yeah. big smallies. Yeah, That's right. not what we're looking I mean, we want to catch smallies, yeah, but yeah. really, we'd like to catch a long muskie, a long pike, and even the trash drum that you yeah. guys like yeah, you know you got that's a trash fish white but, bass yeah we could go for a white bass yeah drum the river with help. a wall other yeah. walleye in here yeah, yeah there, we we can go for walleye yeah, in I, the river my dad was just out here the other day and caught a muskie a walleye perch in the river oh, oh, let's go dude so, bass. Yeah, if yeah. we could be if we could have a chance to catch like you know throwing out for any of those species yeah. and then like increase our odds that would be huge for us all right cool yeah yeah but definitely we well, can we add we can them. add about yeah. 10 inches probably Probably with uh, largemouth and smallmouth. Yeah, right. and but we still want to get a, like a uh, ideally a nice large year smallie. Get that ten inch bonus. Oh yeah, that's that'd right. Be, yeah, the 10 -inch so bonus. really, we'd be adding twenty inches. Yeah, we got to beat gotta... seventeen. Norm and Ao, their biggest bass is seventeen inches, so we got to beat seventeen. That is a little. That's a nice little that's bonus nice. there. Yeah. Biggest fish of the trip again is uh, ten. Yep. Inches and then biggest bass, biggest bass, bass is ten inches. So, so we, we want to sweep the these guys. We want to double their total length. With the bonuses, they're about 75. They have both bonuses right now. We're at 120. So we want to steal those bonuses and double their length. Just put the nail in the coffin today. Oh, Jerry. Jerry. Good morning. All right, guys. We spent $200 last night with the hotel room and room service. And we Water left fries. everything out of the fridge. So we're going to take advantage of the morning breakfast for free. I think we have about $150 left or $140. $140. $40 for gas and food. And then $100 for our... Fishing mission this afternoon. Yes. Let's go eat breakfast. Well, we got apple juice, we got pancakes. Might bust down on some Fruit Loops and uh, get some calories in, get energized, go catch some fish. We don't even know where we're going this morning. No, we don't. We need a spillway or some type of river. 
yeah. deep water. We, we, have, we have a trip this evening, which could be, be the game winner. I know we've said that two days in a row now, but this one, we mean it. We mean it this time. All right, guys, we're here at Sodus Bay. We're going to fish for a little bit. We're waiting on Ben to get here, so we have a couple hours. We bought some worms, we bought some terminal tackle, and we have all of our bass gear, too, so we might mess around and try to catch something, whatever is here at the pier. Norm? Yeah? I'm making eye-to-eye -eye contact with a bluegill. It's going to change the whole trajectory of this game. Got him. No way. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> it's not even that big. I thought it was a lot bigger. I think it's like grandma's down there. That's six inches, buddy. All day. I don't even know what kind of sunfish this is, but it's another inch and a half because what was the other one? No, it's another two inches. The other one was four inches flat, right? Yep. Upgrade. I'm going to try to catch this one's grandma. Oh. 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 oh what's that? That's a new species. Come on. Yeah. Come here! <laughs> I told you, dude. Give there me a nice go. crevice and I'll perform. Dude, is that a rock bass? That's a rock. That's a chunky rock bass. <gasps> dude, that's, that's a, straight oh. inches from zero. Dude, that's right? PB. I caught. I actually caught a rock bass in the creek first morning. Stretch for me, buddy. That's eight and a half. Eight and a half, Norm. Let's go. Another three inches, dude. Booyah. Could be my rock bass PB. Not the flex or anything. Thanks for the three inches. So we start out. We got. Good carp. We got, uh, man, we tried like hell for catfish. We really? never get a catfish. Uh, we caught small perch, uh, gills. What else did we get, Mike? That was. Uh, oh, bowfin. Bowfin. Oh, that, bowfin. Was bowfin. that was huge. That's that was sweet. Yeah, Mike got a bowfin. Was that a pretty big one or what? It was 21. 21 inch. That's a nice one. It was pretty good. Water looks like we're in the ocean. Yeah, it's still way up here a little. I just want to start here though. So right now we're offshore. We're on a little grass bed out here. And we're we're trying to catch anything long. So we definitely want to upgrade on our smallmouth and largemouth. And we would love to catch a pike. And if we get really lucky and we get a random muskie, that would just be the game ender, I think. Um, there's also white bass in here, which always seem to, to latch on to my lures. Rock bass, rock bass as well. We have the opportunity, I think, to get possibly 70, 80 inches today if we really play our cards right. And we've been averaging 60 inches a day and it gets harder every time you catch a new species because you have less opportunities. Michigan's awesome. There's tons of species up here. We are, it feels like we're in the ocean and anything could happen. So I'm loving it, man. Come out oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Figure eight of them. Figure eight of them. Oh, there's a muskie down there. There's a oh, muskie down there. Bro, oh, there's two fish oh, following me. Oh, he got it. He's chasing it. Oh, oh God. Dang. Dude, oh, God, they, they followed him in on the freaking revolver. Oh, I had one too. Yeah, oh, there's around. a big skull. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's a ton of them. Oh, my God. We ought to hold school of them. Look at those. Holy. Get him the bite. These are giants. We got to get it fired up. Did you see that? Yes, they're monsters. Dude, I thought I had a bite on it a second ago. Bro, we're about to beat Norm 17 inches right here. We just gotta get one of them to hit us. Oh, 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 him! Bro, what is that? A smolly? Dude, it's a smolly. Oh my god. Dude, that's a monster. Holy shit. Get him to hit. Dylan, what do we do? Holy shit. How do we get this? That was a monster. Dude, I just had like a seven pound smallmouth ball on my jerk bait. No joke. Oh my god. I'm not even. It looked like a bulldog. Freaking fins. Drop shot. Holy Dude, I, I am freaking I'm going out crazy. right now. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> Did you see Holy all those small? Do you see him? <laughs> it looked like a pack of I bulls. I thought it was a pike or so big when I first saw him. Oh my god. How dude. did we not get one? Oh, I'm shaking, dude. I'm li I'm, I'm about to tie on a jerk bait. A that was a freaking toad. Oh my god. I don't know how dude, one I had of us one, didn't catch one. I had one bite it. Well, I made a far cast. I had a I bump. was freaking out right there. Oh my god. That's the craziest yeah. shit I've throw ever seen. <laughs> they were like, they were like hyenas to, to, coming in for the kill. To compare that, okay, so I've never been out on this lake, but to compare that to like largemouth for you guys, that would be like a pack of like five or six 10 pounders oh. following a spinnerbait in. Oh, Joe. That is literally <laughs> what we just saw. 
That was incredible. Five or six 10 pound large mouth. They were even following your top water. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what I think I saw them first. Oh my God. <sighs> Are they still around here? We gotta get one of those. Yeah, we do. Man. We're not even to the good spot yet. Holy crap, dude. That, it's that was, like snow. That, that was epic. <laughs> Dude, this might be good for like some free extra points. You know what I mean? Because I think like this challenge could come down to like a couple inches. Oh, I got one. I got one. Come on. I got one. What is it? What is that? I don't know what it is. Oh, dude, look at all the fish behind it, dude. I'm gonna keep them in the water. Dude, right. is that a smallmouth? No, it's a largemouth. Dude, I cannot get away from largemouth this whole trip. Girl. There was three of them with them. Well, guys, here I go again. Just you know, catching all the multi-species. Wake up this morning thinking I'm gonna catch something different besides a largemouth bass, and it doesn't matter where I go. I promise you guys this curse is real. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Yeah, my first Lake Ontario bass. That was pretty cool. <laughs> she said that's a bass. <laughs> all right, well. Fishing with a crowd, it seems to be the, the theme of New York every time we go fishing. Yeah. Ayo hey, with a carp, going. but dude, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Scenic place to catch fish. They're down there, man. There's massive boulders. Don't let this guy go. Oh, got one. What is that? <laughs> dude, it's another largemouth. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, another largemouth bass. It's a little bit bigger, though. <laughs> you guys want to touch it? Oh no? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> All right. Largemouth bass, baby. You stick with it. Dude, you're so good at catching those largemouth. Yeah. Too bad I had to put that oh. team on my back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm let my largey go. Oh, I'm tangled. I got another sunfish. It's another species, but we're only keeping one of every sunfish. Do you want to call that eight, my good friend? Yeah, that's eight, man. That's eight. That's eight. Yes. I don't even know what we're adding up to now, but it's looking good. I got an eight inch sunfish, eight and a half inch rock bass. That's what we got so far off the pier. Beautiful fish though. And he's dookie and all in my hand. Mm. Appreciate it, buddy. Well, at least you didn't ask a group of kids if they wanted to touch a fish. Really? Why yeah. would you do that? I don't know. So me and Nora have been talking. We just saw a gigantuous pike, pickerel. I don't really know the difference, but if we cut this thing in half, I have a feeling there could be a giant drum. We also saw a couple boats come through here, filleting fish, just chunking in huge fish fillets. So I know that there's trash fish down here feeding up. Why not fish with what they really want? We are gonna leave the pier now. We have about two hours until we embark on the first offshore Ontario sin me and Norm have ever done together. So I think that's gonna be the ticket to winning this competition. I know One Rod and Rackley are mighty comfortable right now. They've been posting on Instagram saying that they've already won this thing. I think we have a trick up our sleeves that might be a huge comeback story. Wow, fancy. Yeah, all right. This is where we either win this challenge or lose this challenge. And I think we're going after like salmon and trout or I don't even know what, but you've never caught any before. I have, so we're gonna let you go first. So this is on you. Thanks, brother. You ready? We just gotta meet the guy. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, bro. It's our last hundred dollars for the whole challenge. It's for gas. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, if we don't catch fish and we lose, we're gonna take it back. Yeah, no problem. I'm I'm taking it's, a joke. Never, <laughs> it's a joke. I've we never make... been skunked down this lake, believe it Really? Oh, uh, well, I don't oh, say this. that. We're good. here, man. We're here to skunk. We have the north. I got good curse. reports. We're going to crush them. Snacky? On the little tiny. Oh, split. my God. It it's a small mouth. It's good a small mouth. Good one, dude. Want me to get the net? Are you on a flip? Yeah, no, 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 no. We need the net. You good? I got one. I got I got this. I got the accessory net. Oh, you got the big net. We're going to big net out. Oh, dude, that's a solid. Dude. Oh. Let's go! Nice, oh. nice. Let's go! Right. First cast with a tiny swim bait. That's crazy. I've never thrown that small of a swim bait out here. <laughs> they might yeah, be man. doubted on that tiny stuff. Yeah, dang. Oh, that's snacky. Woo. Bro. This guy might be 
I don't know. Oh, we're getting the tape. 17. There's a yeah, tape right inches. there. You got a tape right here? Yeah, right here. Look at that. Literally tied on my, my crappie gear. Got a pretty big mouth, actually. Yeah, he does. Settle down, you muscular beast. Come on, dude. We doubled Fish up. All right. We doubled up on the mini clutch. Woo. I think we're on him now. This water is so freaking beautiful. Look at this. You can see him all the way 18, to the bottom. 18. 18. 18. Let's go. That's, 10, that's 20 points for us. Go. I would flip him in. I think I flip him. Yeah. There you go, Mike. Nice. Doubled up, baby. First smallmouth. All right. 18. On St. Clair. Woo. On the board. Feels good, man. I think we got him fired up. Bro, how many points? How many points additional is that? Our biggest smallmouth before was 15. So three inches plus 10, because we got the biggest bass. Right. 13 plus inches on right there. Yeah. 133. I got the crawfish colored mini clutch tied on. Look at that. Yo yoing it right off the grass near the bottom. Beautiful two pound smallie. That's how you start the morning off right there, my friends. Woo! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> At least this water's clean. <laughs> Not like that lake uh, here on water. That thing, that stuff was nasty. Woo! All right, we're getting back in there. I think we figured something out. Two bites in a row after an hour of fishing. Got him on the snacky swimmer. The mini clutch. Time to upgrade. Here we go. There you go. Feels good. Oh, oh, oh. God. There we go. Big in. Crappie jig supreme, baby. Just doing a little crappie fishing out here on the Great Lakes. Catching big brown ones. Long. Yes, oh, sir, that's baby. A, that's a Let's big go. one. Holy yeah. crap. Dude. That might be like four and a half, maybe five. Yeah, it's long. It's what we like. Big face, beautiful head. Love to see it. Boom! Smoke the crap out of that. <laughs> All right, let's get a quick, uh, quick measurement on this guy. I'm going to say he's like 20. 20 and a quarter. Oh. That is taking the lead for a big bass, getting that extra 10 inches. Got to give it a sniff. <sighs> yeah, baby. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> See you, baby. Awesome. There he goes. Man, so they're running in these packs. So every time we've we've gotten a bite, there's been more with it. Started out with that jerk bait, now they're bigger baits. And we were just getting the bites, but they weren't hooking up. So I literally tied on a crappie jig, thinking I could uh, maybe get a big perch with this, possibly get a small mouth bite. And I am, I've got two bites on that so far. This is the same crappie rig I use at home. Well, it's a thousand size Guggen Green Series Reel. It's uh, our micro series. Dang. I need another one of those in my life, dude. That jump was... Yeah, that was epic. Okay. Oh, it's running at me. It's running at me. Oh, that's big. It's big. Ah, it's big. He got off. No. I had pressure. That was either a musky Bro, or a that was huge. Mouth. Fudge, dude. Oh my gosh. What was that? You, bro? It was coming right at me. Yeah. I was throwing the spinner for the last two hours, waiting for that moment. Got smashed. I had the pressure on. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else I could have done there. Uh, nothing really. He, just he jumped jump. up. He just jumped. That right there, I mean, that would have put the nail in the coffin, yeah, guys. That would have been a game-ending fish. I I, it's a lose-lose for me. Either I got a long fish and we end the game, or that would have been a PB smallie. Keep our like head in the game. I'm get back in there. So how many inches we're at? We're at 120. Then you caught the smallie for five, right? Yeah. So five plus are. five, so 125. And as big as bass too. So we're also at 135 right now. 135. Yeah. And if I had landed the big fish, we're not gonna talk about that yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that was depressing. That was a giant. Oh, I love to hear about that. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. man. I'm love it. Bring it up. Oh yeah, thanks love for it coming, here, guys. Dude. This this is good stuff. Yeah, we're giant getting... smallmouth out here, and now we're gonna change it up, look at something different, and uh, I think we can get over 150 inches easily today. Oh yes, so for sure. All right. So guys, we're headed out. It's so funny because we were just standing right here behind you guys on the pier, fishing for three hours, and now we actually get to head out and see the lake. Apparently the waves are gonna be kind of rough, but uh, this is Ao's first time doing any time anything like this, yeah. fishing-wise. It's yeah. my second time ever fishing like this, so I think you gotta go first, dude. Uh, I'm I, want, I wanna see you catch something, but the, we were looking at the size of the net, and that, <laughs> that's the a pretty net. big net. Yeah. So hopefully we'll put something in there. And uh, I think I think we'll make it happen, man. I'm just trying to stare at the horizon, not get seasick. 
because I'm already kind of feeling it. Oh, yeah. But I'll be, I'll be good. I'll be fine. You're fine, dude. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ben. Uh, I grew up on Lake Ontario, working at a marina. Lake Ontario offers some of the best fishing. We get some of the biggest kings, some of the biggest steelhead. Way back in the day, this was pretty much solely native with Atlantic salmon. Now it's pretty much all stocked with king salmon, brown trout. We do still have some Atlantic salmon, but they're pretty rare. It's an Atlantic. Is it Atlantic? And we have steelhead as well as coho salmon. The goal for today is to catch a big king, get these guys some inches, and maybe get on some big browns and maybe a big lake trout, big bonus laker would be nice. We'll see what happens. The time's been pretty deep, so we may run into a couple steelhead, we may not. Get ready, Ayo. Yeah. Get ready for that tug, man. Get a little Get ready for that tug so we can get some inches. Get on there. All right, Ayo, that's good. There we go. Nice oh, dude, oh, it doesn't feel tiny. I don't want to go too slow. I think they got soft mouths, right? They they got like soft mouths, so, yeah. so that's like when he's when he's doing that, don't pull back, let the rod do the work. Oh, it's working. Dude, he is just dogging down there. I don't want to apply too much pressure with a soft mouth. That's the worst thing you can do in this situation, especially when inches are involved. Oh, he's swimming up and up. Okay. Smooth with it. Hey, we need these yeah, inches. No pressure, man. man. But we need this. This is for us. so big. It's for our reputation. Oh, please. Come here, girl. <laughs> See a huge brownie. Oh, she's lengthy. What we need. Got yeah, reel to that reel to that spoon. Okay. Just lift up and walk back. So lift up. Lift it up. Walk back. Let's go, baby! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what is that? Is that a brown? Yeah. Let's go, dude. All right, I'm gonna look at the horizon for like one second. <laughs> That's exhilarating. That's really fun. That's what we needed, Norm. There we go. That thing. Oh, yeah. That's long, dude. We're gonna keep this one as a keeper. So, guys, we found a measuring tape. So, we're currently at 87 inches. So, we're gonna measure this and see how much it adds. All right, that's jawed up. 21, baby. 21 inches. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, 87 Woo. plus 21, quick math. That is 108. We hit the triple digits. Dude, come on. Triple digits. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're so seasick right now. I'm proud of myself because normally I have the first one. I think I got another 20 minutes before it happens, but I'm up next. <laughs> We're at 107. And next, apparently the fish get way bigger than 20 inches. Not nice natural, but good job catching this walleye. There you, oh, you, I was like, you about to lip him? <laughs> Maybe. Damn. Dang, that's, that's a really nice that's one. That's what I mean. Holy crap. Oh, look at the leeches on them, too. Look at these really? parasites. Yeah, oh, right yeah, there. Oh, yeah, dang. Check that out. <laughs> really beautiful walleye, guys. We we're trying to target a walleye, too, so that's really cool. I got on one. On the drop shot, there's a bunch of walleyes in all these river systems here on St. Clair, so... Maybe we'll hook up onto a couple more. I, I, I would think? I would love to get one because this is like a 21, 22 inch fit, yeah, 20 inch can, fish. Uh, we can measure real quick. Yeah, we need those inches. Yeah. 20 and a half. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this side. Look at all the pair. Dude, the stack, the pairs of the stairs crawling. They're stacked on this back fin. Look at that. There's, look, there's little That's leeches. nasty. What <laughs> is that? I don't know, bro. Holy crap. I, I wouldn't eat this one, I don't think. Wow, I really could. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Pike. Oh, Pike! Mon Pike! Pike must be something. What is the net? Pike, Where, Pike. Oh, it's Pike. Pike. Oh, it's not huge. I can flip him. First Pike of the day, baby. This must fire. Woo! Oh. Watch your hooks. Watch your hooks, boys. Woo! This guy is long and skinny, man. Yeah, he is. Anyone got pliers? There's some. Oh, right there. Oh, right here, right here. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> long and lengthy. Yeah. That's what I'm that's talking about. Cool. Bam. Oh, there dude, that, that pike is aggressive. Good job, dude. Finally landed something on this giant inline spinner. Been throwing it all freaking day. Had bites, lost fish, got a pike. There he goes. It wasn't over 24 inches, but I have a feeling if I keep throwing this, I'm going to catch a giant. Oh, come on, come on. Little guy. Is he on there? He's on there. He's on there. Oh, yeah. Come on, Norm. Good one or no? 
Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Check it out. Check that drag. Come on, buddy. Woo! We're on, baby. Do it for the southeastern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is fun, man. It's like you're boat fighting fish? the boat motor, you're fighting the fish, and you're and fighting for first sickness. place and seasickness. Yeah. Fighting it all at the same yep. time. And all my high school friends who said I'd never amount to anything, fighting them too. <laughs> Right. Yep, that's what they get for shoving me in a locker. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's really happened to me one time. Yep. <laughs> Where are they? Not New York. <laughs> They're probably right. like. You got a pink weight coming in hot. Woo! Stay right in the Be a salmon, baby. That would be epic. Oh, oh dude, it freaking came out of the water oh, like a tarpon. Oh, oh, there's another one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. oh, we're doubled up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, hey, guys. guys, we are doubled up right now. <laughs> this might be a different species. Give us the inches. <laughs> there we go. We're talking yeah, feet. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. Oh, am I wrapped up? Uh oh. Oh my god, spit out. No. no. Barely hooked. Don't come off, don't come off. Yes! New species. Is it Atlantic? Is it Atlantic yeah. Shut yeah, up. You gotta release that one. I think. That's an Atlantic. Oh my god, it's an Atlantic. It's an Atlantic. <laughs> that might mean something. I thought we were at Lake Erie, not Number the Atlantic I told you Ocean. I've caught three Atlantics in my life. Are you mess? Are you pulling no, my leg right now? Atlantic. It's got a. So we could potentially hand. catch another one as well. Oh, yeah. well you so that's a different species. There's species. no way. You said you could hold up. That's an Atlantic. Let it go. It's Atlantic. It's unicorns. Yeah, you don't catch You've only caught three of these ever. Yeah. And You're not messing lot. with me. You I promise. God, right one, two, twenty. Dude, that might be twenty-three with the other side of his tail. Well, guys, we just caught an Atlantic salmon, which apparently is rare. If I'm not being messed with, no. No. you've only caught three. I've you caught a couple. There's not many of them. Okay. All right. We're gonna let him go because he's not keeper size. But that's 23 inches added. Yep. Holy cow! All right, buddy. See you, man. Just let him. Uh, Goes. In the last five years, I've probably run 400 trips, and I've probably seen four of them. That's You're probably number five. Yeah. Wow. Like I said, that's a that's extremely rare fish. I mean, like, so they, that was not part of the plan at all today. So that's just bonus inches. Yeah. Complete happy accident. That was awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Dude, They're I got goosebumps. I can't <laughs> believe that, man. I don't even, it was just so cool. Guys fish this lake their entire lives and won't catch one. Nope. Their whole lives and won't get, catch one. Wow. I don't know. That I might just use up all my luck for the year. That was 23 inches of a fish that we weren't even talking about because it was going to be so rare to catch. That might have just won us a thing, dude. If we can just execute the rest of the day. Can we get one more to execute for you. We'll be all right. We'll get it. One more. We gotta get a king. All right. We catch a, we catch like one more species, man. I can't wait to call one rod and Rackley later tonight because I think it's gonna be so close. I'm just nervous that they're just killing it with extreme outdoorsmen. Yeah, unless they caught like a 60 inch muskie. Which they very well could because that dude is a man's man. Yep. All right, that's it. We gave it our best shot. Absolutely grinded, dude. Yeah. Trying to get the long fish. We, we caught so many smallmouth, some monster smallmouth. Huge shout out to Dylan yeah. to oh, get sweet. on some absolute toads. But the walleye eluded us. Yep. You got one. I got one. We didn't walleye. get one. Uh, big pike, big muskie. We left some meat on the bone. Yeah. For Norm and AO. Norm and AO. They're going out really tonight. I don't know what they're going for. Yeah, sturgeon, probably. <sighs> big catfish, big for? sturgeon, musky, pike, all those things bite really well at night. Now, last I heard, they had 55 inches. We currently have 145 inches. So they're going to have some ground to make up, but with those two, you never know what's going to happen. One yeah. sturgeon changes the game. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess it's up to them now. Yeah, that's ball, the ball's in their court. We'll see what happens. So we either have a fish that got on earlier that we didn't realize, or we're tangled in weeds. But I'm currently re reeling in copper wire. Oh, there it is, little guy. Hey, oh, you got one. Yeah, he's oh, on hey. there. What do we have? I guess it's a little brown that just. Oh, you know what? That's a king you can measure. Woo! <laughs> there's a salmon you can measure. 
That is my first king, ladies and that gentlemen. That is a one-year-old. Oh my gosh. Let me. I apologize for the length of that thing. You can measure it because I don't want to. <laughs> Sorry. I am so proud of this moment. All right, let's give her a little she's stiff, tail so touching. She's, she's to, stretched out. Where are we at? We're talking, man, we're talking. Is that 14? Dude, that's 14. 14 all day, baby. <laughs> oh, get a little fish in the gullet as well. I'll take the rod from if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that though? Is that a baby? Uh, dude, that's, what is it? That's that's two that's inches. That's two all day. inches. Easy. Light work. <laughs> Boom. Fish slayer, baby. Dude. I think we got something there. Oh shoot. Oh good. Yeah. Is something on here? Yeah. Holy God. Can I go for it? Go yeah, yeah. Run it, dude. Oh wow! <laughs> That's not time. Yeah, you got 400 feet of line out there, so some of that weight is just a lot of top. Okay. We'll be fighting this for a while. Sweet. Both flip them. Should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> I'll flip them, dude. Don't that? tempt me with a good time. See what it is. is it a brownie? Go easy on them. What is that? Brown. Brown. Upgrade from that other Definitely upgrade. Oh, dude, that's a fat one, dude, too. Dude, that one, yeah. wow, that, my arms are on fire, dude. Because I got just pumped biceps for 30 minutes straight. You did, man. I was hoping it as well. Still a good time. And we were upgrading a couple more inches. Dude, imagine if that was a different species, though. Dude, I, I think we're finally, like, we're, it's rolling quick. I think we're going to catch another species. It is. But. Look at that tummy, dude. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Let's get a measurement. All right, you know the tail. That's a 21 again. Wow. It's just fatter. It's so much fatter. Yeah, it's 21. 21. It's been pretty awesome, man. Dude, this is fun. And we still have opportunities for like more common. Like we've knocked the hard ones out. I feel yeah. like we have some like easier species to catch. So we're just getting to the nitty gritty. Like one yep. fish is a huge yep. game changer. Right now. And as the sun goes down too, it's just gonna keep getting better more and more intense. and better and better. <laughs> we might win this thing, dude. We're close. So, sun's going down. We got about two hours. We just tried FaceTime and the boys, but we don't have any reception, so we can't talk to them. But we think it's a really close game. If we catch one big king salmon, right? Yep. That could maybe put us over the edge. We're marking stuff now on the graphs, and as the sun's going down, I think they could get really active. So. We just gotta land whatever bites next. Can't lose it, and we might win it. Oh, it feels tiny. Better than nothing. Oh, he's already, he's, he's coming up. Yeah, King, he's splashing. Yeah, he's, be a new species. This is where we're gonna need this to be, just so we can add some inches. Oh, uh, 14. Beat that. Okay, an upgrade. <laughs> we yeah. upgraded, man, by the inch. My boy, yeah, I think, I think it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's bigger than 14, it's gotta be. All right, we're at one, two, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. There we go, 16 and a half. That's a two and a half inch upgrade. Yeah, guys, check this out, guys. I think this salmon is very beautiful. He's peeing on my finger. The translucence of his uh, gill plates is very immaculate. Gotta love it. Gotta appreciate nature in all its glory. Yeah. It's a beautiful one. And she gives us two and a half extra inches. What's not to love? Give her a little nose dive. All right, two and a half extra inches. We might have to do a little bit of math to calculate, but we need a giant one of those, like a 30 pounder. That does put us at 150, I think. That's huge. That's 150 inches, man. Wow. Gentlemen. You know what it might be, right? We've had a heck of a night. I've completely conquered seasickness. You caught the fish of a lifetime. And we found a lot about New York that we didn't know before. What I think so cool is we started the day with 70 inches and we've managed to get all the way up to 150 without the added bonus for having big fish. We so it's, it's been a pretty amazing day and we had amazing days the days before. So I think Rackley and One Rod are finishing up. So we'll see if we pull out this win. But nonetheless, it was a really cool trip we caught a ton of different species but we're headed yeah. back in and i think we're gonna figure out the news man that was top tier adventure i'm i'm kind of anxious i hope we didn't light a fire underneath one rod and rack way to go beat us into the ground but yeah either way trolled on like in ontario had a blast we're uh i'm 
I'm in the dark. I'm driving. I'm driving right now. We're going eight mile. We're we're on eight mile road in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Fuck you. No, no, the competition. Hey guys. I, think, I I think there's still like three hours left. No, we're a hundred percent going till midnight. So you going till midnight? Drink, drink you one of them energy drinks and uh, we gotta do uh, get ready. Go, go follow this guy. Follow this guy. Be safer. <laughs> We got the popo over here. Okay, all right. So you probably see the uh, blue and red cherries and berries over there. Uh, <laughs> we just pulled up into a park. We came out of the like most wealthiest zone I've ever imagined yeah. eight mile would be, and then we came over to where uh, you know the drug deals and prices are going down. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're gonna scooch over to somewhere else. I don't think the Tesla is gonna make it if we leave the car. I don't think we're gonna come back to it. So. I think we're gonna roll. I think yeah. we're gonna roll. Yeah, let's just scoot on Slide it. on out quietly. Yeah. Yeah. We're charging our car quickly, but we are running out of time. We only have a little over two hours yeah. until Yeah, and we got midnight. a 40 minute drive to our spot. So we're gonna have to straight up get some night, we got some night crawlers. We got some King Daddy Cobras in here. It's gonna, gonna look, Whoa. oh my gosh, dude. Look at these. Those are juicy, man. Juicies. Real juicies. So we've got the bait. Just got to get it in there. And I feel like it's either going to happen quick or it's going to be a dud. It's Bro, be a dud. Norm and Ao are 15 inches ahead of us. We are not losing to them. I thought we were going to be chilling tonight. I thought we'd be in bed watching Dumb and Dumber right now. I know. But now we're going to be grinding. We ain't losing Norm and Ao. We're catching some. I don't know what we're going to catch, but we're catching something new. Something long. It's very doable. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Uh, we went we went down eight mile. You guys didn't see this, but uh, Cam, the guy behind the camera right now, um, he went into a little grocery store while we were having to charge the Tesla because we were out of battery. We, we would not have made it here. And uh, there was basically like people laying all over the floor, drugged out. It was bad. It was like what you see in the movies. So we went we went from there to drove about 40 minutes south to a pond that we have fished before confirmed we've got uh catfish carp uh what else is in here this is where walleye. we caught the bass before walleye there's in walleye here. In drummer here. in here we have the opportunity so here's the thing if we get a large carp over 30 inches over I'd 25 think, we just gotta go over 25, 25 that's their biggest fish it's gonna knock 10 points away from them so over 30 because they have a salmon yeah, they do have a salmon that's 30 something. Okay, we have we to have catch a carp over We have to catch a monster carp. Anyway, <laughs> that would take 10 inches away from them automatically. Um, but we got to catch some other species. Yeah, we need other we species. Have to. Yeah. We need a cat. We need something long. If we don't get catch another fish in the next we hour. Have, yeah, we have less than that. We got to get rolling, bro. We're done. Left the boat ramp at beautiful Lake St. Clair, things have just taken a turn. So it's uh, now starting to rain apparently. Me and Mike are sitting under a bridge and we've gotten some bites, but we, we can't hook up. We don't know what these fish are. Confused. We're in the dark. We're in a vulnerable state and we've got very little time left. It's not looking good for us. <laughs> Bro, it's definitely not looking good. This is rough, man. This is pretty rough. It's 11.30 p.m. Cold, wet, tired, no fish. Brutal. All right. Is it midnight? No, 11. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, oh no. You come on. He got off. He got off. What was it? Got one. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. That, that's where we're ending right here. It's midnight, 11.59. I mean, it's, it's, probably, it's probably gonna turn to midnight. It's midnight. That is the end of the challenge. We were literally ending where we started. Yeah, full circle, man. Full circle on a bluegill, though. Uh, I will say that's probably the biggest bluegill of the trip. It might add an inch. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think that's gonna help us get the dub. I don't think so. Well, I guess we need to call the boys and congratulate them. What do you think? It sucks. But I think it's time. Yeah, we fished our house out. I'm, our yeah, I'm not upset with it. Yeah. I had an amazing time yeah. up here. But 
I think they out they outthought us on the troll. I think so. Oh, I'll give him a call. We well, out there, you out there fishing? Norm's got some shit. Losing him. Norm needs to get some uh, Starlink going or something. Oh, then he's in the water and he's got the he's got the rainbow bass shorts looking all sexy and fine. Okay, so essentially what happened was, you know, day one, Rackley and I got a good 50, 55 inches. You guys got the uh, the old goose egg. Is that right? And day two, Rackley had up over like 60, right? Yeah, we had about 110 inches or so. Then you guys caught up a little bit. Maybe had about 50, 55. That was pretty solid. A nice little comeback, but you know we were feeling pretty good, pretty confident. And then day three, that's when you guys made that amazing comeback. Brought it all the way back up to 158 inches or so. Then Rackley and I, we were stuck at about 148 or so, and yeah, you know, we ended the call. We ended the call. Rackley and I had quite an adventure going out there. Definitely yeah. an eight mile. You guys seen that movie, Eight Mile? It's real. It's real. It's, it's not fake. It's not, a, it's not a fake documentary. It's real. We fished in the rain, pitch black darkness, till the stroke of midnight. We needed 10 <laughs> inches to beat you guys. Just 10 inches. Just one little measly catfish. But, alas, we did not get it. So my friends, congratulations. You are the winners of the 2v2 statewide championship episode series two, whatever you want to call it. You guys took it, congrats. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Let's go. Ayo's so happy he took his shirt off. I think he was just, he was ready to party. <laughs> so what'd you guys think, you boys have fun? <laughs> you are uh, the 2022 Master Danglers U.S. Champions. We would like to know where should we go next? To the Montañas, to the Seas of Capistrano. <laughs> where would you like to see us go to? It's got to be two similar places, same kind of playing field. I think this one was really good. Yeah. I mean, very even, very they, fair contest. They came back tremendously, got on the right species. I, like, it's, you got to have some long fish to win. Oh yeah. Know? So. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. And comment below which 2v2 teams you want to see next. Of any of the Googans, comment the teams that you guys want to see in the next 2v2 statewide challenge. It's a beggar. Absolutely. I'm glad oh. we didn't die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a little touch and go there for a second, but sure uh, we made it out. You guys missed the heroin needles, but uh, for another episode. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Thank you so much for watching the Guggen Squad 2v2 statewide challenge. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be even better. Peace.